crisp uh, practice afternoon. Oh, yeah, I love it, though. You know, it's you can play football in any weather. Um, you're with your boys. You're having fun. You're with the coaches. You're getting coached up. You know, you play a sport where it doesn't matter what's going on around the world. It's going to be hard. And, yeah, it's pretty cold, but, like, you know, you're with your friends. You're with your brothers for life. So, I mean, it's very, very enjoyable. Yeah. Yeah. And coming off a big win Saturday in Denver over Air Force, uh, defense played really well. Uh, I thought just the first drive when you were able to stop Air Force on a fourth and one, take the ball, take over the ball at their 35, uh, that really made a, a difference, uh, a statement to start the game. Uh, it was good. Um, you know, it comes down to repetition and fundamentals. Um, you know, that's what we preach all through practice from last week and this week to all the opponents we play, your assignments, doing your one and eleven, doing your job. And at the end of the day, just coming together as a brotherhood, you know. Um, you know, we come up with that mentality that I'm I'm give I'll give up my body out there on, on the field for my brother. And, you know, whether that be like how you fit a play or running to the ball and you know, diving for it. It's just shows the camaraderie with our team. And, you know, it sounds cliche, but um, teamwork, you know, that wins the game. Absolutely. Now, in the second quarter, uh, you have, you forced a fumble that led to uh, a, a Quinn Marensky uh, field goal. Uh, just, a, a, you know, just uh, led to those points. Uh, tell us a little bit about the play. Oh, uh, you know, just, you know, every day, like throughout the week, you practice the, that type of, personnel that goes out there or the formation and, you know once I saw it it clicked in my head uh, from the countless hours of watching film with you know coach Juice, coach Woody my the inside linebacker room all together and you know you could say that about all the other plays that we made out there from from Leo to Kayla to the Cam Nogara um you know just repetition of the play and like seeing it like photographic memory and it just shows how like invested we were in that in those moments so we could react and read it fast. Yeah, the other stat that I you know I, I mentioned to Coach Monken was you held the, the Air Force quarterback Zach Larry to nine of twenty-two with two interceptions on uh, 93 yards. Uh uh he seemed uncomfortable the whole day. He, he was missing open receivers, uh, uh you know throwing a little sooner maybe than he wanted to. How did you guys keep the pressure on Air Force and their, uh, you know, and their quarterback? Yeah. Well, first and foremost, you know, they had they had some athletes on the team. They're they're good. So you know, he came quarterback's really good. So preparing for him, preparing for the type of athletes they were going to use in different situations, like whatever play they're going to run. Um, in terms of that, is like I said, you have to do your one eleventh. You know, you I I can't do everybody's job i can't do the alignment's job i can't do the safety's job so what you got to rely on one another to contain like for example the quarterback or whatever athlete they want to use in a like particular situation um you know throughout the week we we rely on our scout guys our scout guys gave a great look um they knew their investment they knew our investment and they knew that their success our success and our success, success their success at the end of the day, you know, it goes down to those guys, those plebes out there, the rookies, and the look they give us, and along with counting on one another. Very good, very good. So, uh, uh, you know, uh, going in, uh, Coach Munkin had said, you know, defense would have to slow down the Air Force running game that was getting 300 yards a game, and he held them to uh, 155. Uh, that must have felt good. Was there any key to the defense being able to, as Coach Monk had wanted, slow down in the Air Force running game? It's more uh, one thing that Coach Juice preaches a lot is your proximity to the ball after the whistle's blown is the amount of love you have for your brotherhood and the idea of like swarm defense, everybody mm -hmm. rallying to the ball. Um, you know, be in your position, but once you see like the ball's not in your position, you go run, you go. You go strain your body to go and be involved in the play or help make a play in a situation, you know, having someone's back. So that was, that was our main focus. Um, you know, Coach Woody hyped us up in the locker room, like, with that stuff, like, taught us. Basically, you know, you run into the ball every play. He's telling us, run into the ball, run into the ball, tag off the hit, everybody runs to the ball, strip the ball. That's, which, that's just what we practice. That's what sure. we're doing is – 
becomes like second nature to us. That's something now that we do, like we do it in our walkers too. It's just it's fundamentals to doing that. Sure. Now this week, uh, I got a very good uh, Holy Cross team coming yeah, in. Very uh, good. They're scoring 40 points a game. Their quarterback can both throw the ball and run the ball. Mm -hmm. They've got a running back on a thousand yards and yes, a big time wide receiver. What do you, what do you see in the Holy Cross offense? They're really good. I mean, the whole team's really good. They're all fundamentally, fundamentally sound, well coached. So, you know, I we had to treat it like we treated Air Force. We had to treat it like we treat every other game. It's being there with fundamentals, the repetition, straight in your body. You know, they're a very good team. They're one of the best teams in the FCS. And that's something that other teams would take lightly on them. But you just can't because how well, like, productive they are, how fast they are, fundamentally sound. So that's one thing we're focused on this week, you know, preparing like every other game. Very good. Now, tell us what's uh, what's uh, your off the field uh, life as a junior here at West Point been? Uh, what are you studying? Uh, what is, what are key things going on in your life? So right now I'm a law major. Uh, I like it a lot. Uh, key things going on right now. I'll just you know getting through the year. That's it's always something you try to do here. Just you know you're with your brothers, so you know it, it, West Point's made for you to be uncomfortable all the time, but getting comfortable with discomfort. And, you know, at times it can be rough, but, you know, people like Q Hammonds or other people around you, you know, that makes it enjoyable and makes it worthwhile. So, you know, that's just stuff going on. Like, you know, paying attention to school, getting ready for the future in the Army. Um, I'm very excited for it. Um, you know, it's – you think it goes by slow, but it goes by really fast, and you really enjoy taking all the moments you have. You know, three three games left this year, Brett. That's Brian, right. Good to see you. And, yes, sir. Uh, tell us again where you're from. I'm from Valrico, Florida. From Florida. Okay. Yes, sir. And, uh, the suburbs, like the suburbs of Tampa area. That's right. Tell us about your dad. Oh, my dad. Uh, he's back home right now. Um, he's coming up this weekend too. So you know, he was a he was an old grad too. He was a '01 graduate, played quarterback here. Um, so, you know, he's always invested in, in like, the B-hood, the brotherhood here. Like, you know, he's old. So he's always hanging out with people outside of West Point, always coming up here, seeing all his old friends and old football teammates. So Yeah, he still loved me uh, earlier this year. He's right? good, yeah. Brent Arena, uh, uh, linebacker for Army. Uh, congratulations. On yes, sir. Thank you. Force, and we'll see you here at Holy, against Holy Cross on Saturday. Thank yes, sir. You. Thank you. Uh, hey Brett, how's it going? It's uh, Sal from Black Knight Nation. How are you? Hey, so how's it going? Good, good. Um, I was thinking about it could never get too old. The service academy wins, right? Beating Air Force and and your and your win over Navy last year. Um, how about just the moment where you're, you know, you're meeting the the Air Force ball carrier and forcing that fumble? That's got to be something that you'll replay later, probably in life, a lot, right? Maybe not now, getting ready for Holy Cross, but yes, yeah, sir. You know. It's very you know, every moment you have on the field, whether it be you know special teams warming up or like in the ball game. Uh, I always remember that stuff because you know football is a very important aspect of my life. But what makes it even more important is the fact I have the guys on my team. Um, they're very special to me. They're the best of the best friends. I would take them over anybody in the world. And you know when you make those plays, you realize like yeah, it's cool. Like oh, you're like on TV now or something, it, but it's more the fact that, like, I just put my brothers in a good position to score and we can win this game together. Yeah, absolutely. Um, Just one more about the inside linebacker group or room. Um, You guys have rotated in. You guys have really, you know, not missed a beat as far as, like you said, being there for one another when you're celebrating against Air Force. I saw you and Leo right together walking off the field. Um, mm -hmm. Talk about that camaraderie inside your room. You know, we, we have a great camaraderie. Uh, every day we walk in, or whether it be in the weight room on the football field, um, I'll go up to Leo. I'll be like, I'll do it for you. Or walk up to Caleb or Annan and Adam, um, you know, Tano, Spencer. You walk up and say, I'll do it for you. And they'll walk up to me and say, I'll do it for you. Um, and that just goes around. That's like a big thing. You know, I'm, I'm willing to strain my body. I'm willing to put it all on the line. For you, I'm willing. I'm willing to do everything I can right now, so I can put you in a better position and we can win this game. So that's everything. That's like tells you a lot about our camaraderie. Uh, we're at, we're always helping each other out too. You know, like whether it be on and off the field actions. Um, that's just like 
you know, Leo's been a pretty good um, leader in that room too. Um, everybody has, I, I feel like, you know, everybody has their own leadership aspect in that room and that correlates to the defense and to the whole team in general. Thanks a lot, Brett. Uh, good luck on Saturday. Yes, sir. Thank you. Thanks, Brett. Thank you. Hey, Sal, if we're,